Hey everyone, Andrew here from Apple Insider. This is the Nebula Mars 2. It's a projector from Anchor. Above their capsule units, but below their higher end Mars 2 Pro. It's basically just a compact Android device that you can use to play all of your gear on any flat surface. Take it with you on a camping trip. Go watch a movie outside in your backyard. Whatever you want to do, you can project up to 150 inch display really anywhere that you can take this. And you can play things from locally stored or you can stream from Netflix, Amazon Prime, or of course using AirPlay. The device is very compact. It's not as small as the capsule projectors from Anchor, but it is still very small, easy enough to fit in the backpack without issue. On the back of the unit, you have the power input on the left, followed by an HDMI port, USB for adding movies and stuff over, and then audio out if you want to connect this to a better speaker. On the top you have the Bluetooth button, you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker just on its own, volume up and down, the back button, and then the directional pad. The controls are easy to use, there's also an included remote in the box, and for anyone who's even more techy, you can download the Nebula app and use your iPhone as a controller as well. To get this thing started, it does have an internal battery inside, so if it's already charged up, you can just lift up the lid on the front, the projector cover, and it'll turn on, get going right away. Ours out of the box came out a little dead, so we had to plug it in before we could get started. But then, once we were done, we plugged it in, hooked it up, let it charge for a few minutes, added it on top of our Peak Design tripod here for some added stability. You can add this to any tripod, and what's nice about putting it on a tripod is you can then adjust it a lot more than lying flat. There's no adjustments on the bottom, and there's a simple tripod thread underneath. So connect it to any tripod you want, whether it's on a tabletop or a full size, and it's very easy to align this thing, get it where you need it to be whenever you're watching a movie, your TV, whatever. As I said, it does have an internal battery. You can get up to four hours of watch time here, which is definitely enough to at least get through The Irishman and have a little bit of time left over. Again, you can stream through HDMI, so any HDMI device, gaming devices, anything like that, through any local storage that you may have. You can go online using the WebView browser, so pretty standard stuff here if you've seen a lot of Android-based projectors, but if you really wanted to go online, you can. This is Wi-Fi connected, so if I wanted to hop on to AppleInsider.com, I can do it. I don't know really why I would. You can use a pointer on the iPhone side of things uh, using the app, so there is ways to kind of navigate this but no one's really gonna be using this as a web browser, just kind of a nice to have thing that's here. So aside from HDMI, from File Manager, and the App Manager, we also have the big three down here below, including YouTube, Amazon Prime Video, as well as Netflix. So if you wanna stream from any of those platforms, you obviously can. Jumping into Netflix, because we're not gonna play something that is copyright protected here on our video, so we're just gonna pull up some Apple Insider videos just to show some video footage. Now this can shoot, or can display, at up to 150 inches in size, as small as 30 inches in size. We're gonna play my Insta360 Go video. If you have not checked this out, this is one awesome action camera. So we're playing this video, it can get up to 300 ANSI lumens, or that's the equivalent of 1500 lumens in brightness. Not the brightest that there is out there. Anchor even has a brighter one, which is the Mars 2 Pro. So if you want it a little bit brighter, you can jump to that, though it does decrease your battery life by a little bit, because again, it's just brighter outputs. But for us, this was not too bad. This was absolutely watchable. Either it was in the daylight, we had windows open and the lights off inside. So it was kind of like a decently lit space, not really bright by any means, but we didn't have any issues watching it. We could have gone for a little bit brighter but if we were watching at night, that'd be absolutely no issue. Audio here is not bad by any means. There are dual 10 watt speakers on the inside, but we found it still lacking a little bit. I mean, it's nice to have it as a standalone Bluetooth speaker, and of course, just having speakers integrated alone when you're watching something is perfect because you don't want to have to bring another speaker. But I love that you can hook this up to something else. If you're inside and you have a sound bar or a surround sound system that you want to connect this into, you can absolutely do it. It also has AirPlay, just regular AirPlay and not AirPlay 2, which is a bit of a bummer. And you're pretty limited on what you can actually display. So you can do all your normal stuff. You can jump in here and play stuff from your iPhone, um, mirror your iPhone, all of that, just like you can with an Apple TV. So it literally shows up on your iPhone as an Apple TV type device. But limitations. So if we want to finish watching, we want to catch up on Mythic Quest from Apple TV Plus, I go to play it and it just craps out on us. That's because you cannot watch copyrighted content on this device, on this projector. You just can't do it. So it's just gonna fall back to this display, even though my phone thinks it's actually playing right now. 
Of course, you can do a lot of other stuff. You can play music, no problem, just fine. You can go through your photos. If you have any personal videos that you wanna show, all that is absolutely watchable. It is a little bit of a bummer that AirPlay 2 is not here and that you can't watch actual movies over AirPlay um, that are copyrighted through Netflix or Hulu or anything like that. So it's definitely a little bit of a bummer here, but at least it has HDMI and you can stream natively through a lot of those platforms that you're probably going to be watching them on anyway. Portable speakers are all the rage now. Everyone loves Anchor for their solid design and well-built products, and the Mars 2 is no different. It's been out for a little while now, and we're really excited to see things like AirPlay, at least for audio and the like like that. It's well-built. We love the app on the iPhone to control this thing, so you don't have to have the actual remote to go with it. And pictures look great. At 720p resolution, we really have no qualms when we're sitting at that far of a distance behind. If you want to grab one of these for yourself, you can find the link down below in the description, and I'd love to hear what you think. Do you have any portable projectors that you love? Let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.